And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Harrowing is our first deck of the day. We're going with the normal stream today. I'm sorry about uh, not doing the 12-hour stream. We're going to be moving that. Uh, it was supposed to be today. We're moving it to tomorrow. Um, and uh, I had technical difficulties on getting the Resident Evil 3 game set up and, and getting everything working with that, getting my controller working and everything. And it took me a while today. So we're, we'll be doing that. But it's all set up. It's, it's ready to go. So we'll do that tomorrow. Um, and, you know, we'll play through the entire game. And so, yeah, hope you all join that for tomorrow. So sorry about that. Anyway, all right, so we got Ash Arrowing <clears throat> bringing this deck back. Last time that we played this, we had a bunch of really good games. Like, we're, like the games were really close. We were coming back and winning. Uh, it was pretty awesome. We have, uh, you know, our deck is built around Ash and getting multiple Ashes in play with the help of uh, Rekindler or Miscall or of course harrowing uh bringing everything back and making it like uh leveling up ash making it so they can't block frostbite all their their enemy frostbite all the enemies they can't block and we attack for lethal so that's what we're trying to do playing a real late game hoping our harrowings don't get denied um and there we go so let's let's uh go and give it a try oops i want to go to the play ash harrowing ranked Oh, we need to rank back up. Um, I want the Iceborne Peak. Yeah. Um, get this guy. Okay. All right, so should be a good rank up day today. We're playing five good decks. Timo Elise. Is this like prankster burn? Is that what we got going on over here? Um, I don't really want to keep the two four drops. <clears throat> of course, I want Ash Chronicler of Ruin. Uh, you know, can reset like ice or no? It doesn't even reset ice veil archer, but it's really for like uh, later on in the game. Especially with Rekindler. It's a good combo with Avaros and Sentry. Nothing like the great outdoors. This looks like Prankster Burn. I can do this. Locked and ready. Well, three ones don't match up against one fours. Stay back. Uh, Better run. Hmm. Yeah, that one four is a problem. It's a good draw. Gives me something to play this turn. Good draw. Oh my gosh, why am I not attacking with Skitter also? I'm playing this mic. It's kind of in my way. Obviously, I should be attack attacking with Skitter also. <laughs> oh, getting our first game started. First game of the day. Hey, Blade. I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. I had technical difficulties earlier, so the 12 hour stream got delayed. It's nine damage. Uh, but we'll be doing that tomorrow.
more mushrooms, those are the first mushrooms. I, I unfortunately don't have, you know, challenger creature to take this. Okay, yeah, this standalone midrange deck, that's, yeah, that's a really fun one to play. I thought about that one for today, I'm probably going to play that tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll play that one again tomorrow. First one's free. This prankster is just going to kill me. This is gonna kill me. They're out there. I'll spot them. Looks like I'm dead. They'll never know what hit him. I don't see that deck hardly ever win, but that's a way that it can win. Demo into Boom Crew Rookie into Prankster and then you never kill Prankster and then a whole bunch of ephemeral stuff and things that die like that's as good as that deck can do but yeah no no removal on our side that's sad all right Demacia Shadow Isles we just want a, a decent curve I think I'll get rid of Thresh too. Let's just kind of get try to get some cheaper things. Um, that was basically the only one I had planned for tomorrow. I actually, it was the standalone mid range. That was the one that uh, yeah, that was like the only one that um, that was the one that I was like, you know, thinking about you know playing today and. But uh, didn't quite make the cut, and I was like, I'm gonna play that tomorrow. All the world on one arrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't think I'll play that for all 12 hours. They could be playing Dawn, Dawn Speakers, or that could be what they're using Demacia for. Sacrifice for a freaker. It's a good hit. Hey, Moonlight. No place for the kind. They're doing pretty good over here. They're doing 
doing pretty good. Taking three damage with this attack right now. So I could missed call and put that thing back into my hand, or sorry, uh, put that put that thing back into play. And, you know, have you know have a fifty fifty shot at getting either skitter or. Um, or whatever, but I'm gonna keep the the missed call because I want to, you know, I want to return Reviver or uh, the Rekindler and the Ash. Like those are the cards that I want to bring back. Show me a target. All right, so this is so we're at two out of three. This is risky attacking with the Frenzied Skitter also. I was I was kind of hoping they didn't block their uh, Skitter. So that's what I was hoping. On Rekindler. Yeah. Dang. Yes, that did come out today. Um, I had, uh, sorry, but yeah, so I'm going to be playing that tomorrow, um, moving it. I had uh, technical difficulties getting that set up earlier today, and so I'm going to just be, I'm going to be playing that tomorrow. Um, and doing all that because you know like, I'm gonna be playing through the entire game and everything and it, it took me a while today to get everything set up for that so yeah so we'll be doing that now now it's <laughs> tomorrow so I'm, I'm sorry about that I want to harsh winds Yeah, I think I heard it. But of course, I also want to play my champions. We'll have nine mana next turn. We'll be able to play both champions. And now Ash will be leveled up. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play the Resident Evil longer because I'm gonna try to play through the whole game. Um, so I'm I'm planning on doing four decks of Rune Terra, which should take about four hours, and then the other eight hours for Resident Evil. And I'll start with Rune Terra. We'll start there. I think we'll finish the game in eight hours. I don't know. So they're doing that to get a blocker, most likely. Could be a black spear, and I'll be sad. Oh, I 
kills my Rasa. Or sorry, not or sorry, the Rasa. Sorry, it kills my Thrush. That's sad. This is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, that's true. I could do like two decks and then Resident Evil, and then if we still have time, do like the other two decks afterwards. That's true. We could do something like that. From what I've seen that people say that the game can take anywhere from like six hours if you play through it quickly to 11 hours if you play it as like more of a completionist. I figure we're, we're probably going to be closer to the completionist thing or, you know, I'm, I'm probably not going to play through it super fast. I need to draw harrowing. Kinda need to draw harrowing. Definitely need to draw harrowing. Ruination, unfortunately, is not very good against the Undying. Obviously, against this curse keeper, also. Well, I just need to draw heroin. Now. 
Yeah, I was thinking that, um, I was thinking, like, the problem was starting... My thought was the problem was starting Resident Evil right away was that uh, it wouldn't... Was that, like, maybe people wouldn't have time to, to join the stream, you know, and we'd be starting it with, you know, only just a, you know, a handful of people watching, because, you know, that's how usually the, the streams kind of start off pretty small and everything, and that if people wanted to see, like, the whole game, um, you know, maybe it'd be better to, to play a little Legends of Runeterra first and, and let people get on in here before we start it. But you're right, if I if I play like a longer game and everything, if I take my time and and play it like play a little longer. Uh maybe I should just start with it and then whatever time we have left we can play some Legends of Runeterra afterwards. Cause it will be on you know, since we're moving it tomorrow to tomorrow, it is a Saturday. I needed you last game, Harrowing. I needed you last game. Would y'all like would y'all like me me to start it right away? I mean I would I would definitely be down for that. I just want to make sure that you know I want to do the, what is best for y'all as well. Um, Archer is better for like this turn, but also Archer is better for later on in the game than Sentry. So I'm gonna keep the Archer. FEMA with the raid. Y'all, let's get some hype in for FEMA and the Raiders. What's up, everybody? So Blade says start start with uh, start with Resident Evil Three tomorrow. Well, so BJJ, you're saying I was thinking that too. Which which way were you thinking? Were you thinking starting with starting with Resident Evil tomorrow, right away? Thanks, FEMA. Thanks for the raid. Okay, yeah, you were saying start with R3. Golden guy, are you playing it? Are you playing it today? What's up, FEMA? So we had... Okay, you're about to start the game yourself. Okay. Well then you can oh, cool. Then you can you can join in tomorrow too, and so if you know we get stuck or anything, you can help out. I long for a worthy opponent. Winter take you. Um, well, yeah, if y'all, if y'all want to, I mean, that does give you, a, if you, a specific time just to start with. So, yeah, I think we can, we could do that. We could just start with, uh, start with it right away. Yeah, yeah, we're playing the deck. Yep, playing the deck that that I advised. Yep, yesterday. Um, haven't started with the best. Haven't had the best start so far. We we played against Prankster Burn. That ended up winning, even though I basically never see that deck want win. But it it won against us. It had the best possible hand they can have. Oh well. Um, so that was our first one. And then our next one was a was an undying deck that also had a, a good solid hand and a whole bunch of stuff. And I I couldn't 
I didn't draw harrowing. I need I needed to have like one harrowing to to win at any point, but we never drew one. Um, I play this, so I can either play Thresh or I can have Flash Freeze, Vile Feast, and Mist Call. Follow my lead. Head to the base. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Make. Yeah. So our puzzles could be a chore first if we if we already have been streaming for like four hours and then we get a couple hours into the gameplay and it, the puzzles feel like a chore. Okay. I could see that. All right. So yeah. All right. So let's decide. So Resident Evil Three to start tomorrow. This is me taking nine, going down to seven. That's probably just fine. I guess I'm just gonna be playing Thresh post combat. The time is right. Strike now. I could see. Protect house floor. What do you like? I could I could see like letting the ash die. That's true, Rasa is good in this deck. I mean, Rasa is just a good card. True. Yeah, yeah. No, Ross is good. Um, as far as you know, we have to fit it in somewhere. Maybe instead of the ruinations, I don't, I don't know about these ruinations. Like maybe, maybe just play Ross, Ross instead of ruination. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, it can definitely be nuts with Mist Call, man. Oh wait, no, it's a play trigger, right? It's not a summon trigger. I'm pretty sure Ross is a play trigger. Maybe you play Ross instead of Chronicler of Ruin. My shield is yours. Maybe that's where you you uh, find room for it. It's not going to kill my Thresh. I never hold back. There they go. Oh, well, Thresh is still going to level up afterwards. Oh, those things are going to 4 toughness and everything. Hmm. Alright. Uh, yeah, never mind. That's That's not as good for me. Um, so we can just block with these two things, right? Then I go down to three. Hmm, Thresh is gonna die. But, let's see, so they have five creatures. And they won't be able to block with three of them.
Hey, Revolki. This should get us back. You know, we get Rekindler. Wait, why does the Re why did this not bring back a an Ash? Oh, just because I had creatures out there. Should have got another Ash back. What was that all about? All right, well, I messed this game up. Probably. I, I mean, I should have just I should have just held on to Ruination for after they they cast the Four Demacia last turn. I yeah, I mean that's that's what I needed to do. As the arrow flies, I won't back down. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't, like, this, well, my opponent was definitely setting up, like, that four Demacia, and I just didn't, like, I could have just not played my stuff, and, you know, like, I shouldn't have played, you know, like, I played, like, I played, like, the Chronicler of Ruin that turn, and I just really did not need to do that, could have, um, ruination, ruination, but I guess I was, I was worried that if I ruination, I was gonna lose everything. I think I forgot about Scythria pumping those to be four power. I don't think I really uh, consider that. So it looks like we're playing against this deck again. I guess, I guess this is a popular one right now. These cards are good against, you know, good against control that doesn't want to kill him. sense to play anything. Well, Mist Wraith is different. We didn't see Mist Wraith last time. So we got two for one, it took our turn. Oh, 
All right, so I'm planning on uh, not spending my mana and being Elder Ruination next turn. And doing this to get another blocker and play first. So I, I don't just... Because I can't really like pass the turn to them. See what they do first. Because if they just untap and attack immediately. It's a lot of pressure. pressure. They just passed. That is good news. No, that is bad news. We figured out why they why they just passed. Not dead yet. That's close. So I, I chronicler this and then miss call. No, I think I glimpse beyond. Dang. Soul Gorger. This puts Ash into play. Yeah, 
out. I did not like that glimpse beyond. So if I would have done the Chronicler of Ruin and done that and then play the Mist Call, I would have had an extra Thrash. Dang, this is a not a good showing. This is a pretty poor showing. Well, I'm gonna take out one Chronicler of Ruin for an Ash. You know, we had two and zero. I oh, or sorry, I'm gonna take out one Chronicler of Ruin for a Rasa. We did so much better the last time we played this, but I, I think... Well, one, we, we cast this card. We haven't done that yet, but... Still. Hey, Storm, good evening. I mean, we did. I did a pretty decent job of drawing the champions. I... Yeah, I did... I did that... There's a chill in the air. A chill in the air. No room for doubt. Okay. Sacrificing their tracker to get three points of damage in. Seems kind of silly. So that thing was going to be trading with the tracker, basically, no matter what we did. But now I can bring it back. Use the miscall that we have. Still have a blocker for the Lucian. Burn away the shadows. Stay back. I work best alone. Oh, uh, a standalone deck. Save the homestead. That's gonna be problematic. I think not. How you doing, Storm? Storm, tomorrow we are playing Resident Evil 3. We're gonna be playing through the entire game starting um, starting from the beginning. Starting at eleven AM Eastern time tomorrow. So five hours before the current time. Or no, six hours before the current time. Show me a target. Um, so yeah, that's right here. So 11, 11 a.m. Eastern is going to be our exact start time. The 
Yeah, Thresh, Thresh turns from, uh, Thresh gets plus one, plus one, so instead of being a 3-6 turns into a 4-7. And then, uh, that was an awesome game. And then whenever it attacks after it levels up, then Thresh puts a champion from your deck into play. So an attacking Thresh would then put like an you know would then put an Ash into play attacking for us. That's what it does. All right, well I guess we'll move to the next deck. Uh, yeah, this was a rough, rough start to the day. Um, Legends of Runeterra, you don't get you don't get just like easy wins. You know, you don't just like play a deck and then you just get wins. Every deck's good, and it's a tough game. <laughs> yeah. A little zero win. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, last time we played the deck, we went 4-1, and one, and, you know, this time we went 0-5. Oh I, I don't think it's, like, a zero win deck. It's not, not a perfect deck either. Um you know, it's somewhere in between. I, I, I didn't play absolutely perfectly, and there were decisions that I made that could have, you know, changed the game if I would have made some different decisions. But that's how it is for every every game. And uh, sometimes the decisions go your way, sometimes they don't. Sometimes the draws go your way, sometimes they don't. Um, yeah. So we'll move on to our next deck, though. All right, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know how this deck's going for you if you're playing it. But thank you so much for watching some Ash Harrowing, and I'll see you for the next video.